Good morning. My name is Nathaniel Guest, and I'm the executive director of the Colbrookdale Railroad Preservation Trust. As you can tell from my face mask, we're still in the midst of the coronavirus crisis, but we all need something to be hopeful for. And certainly there's a lot to be hopeful about here at the Colbrookdale Railroad. So I thought I'd take a few moments to talk about the projects that are underway that will pick up again when the virus allows us to. Right now we're standing in Boyertown, just north of Philadelphia Avenue, on 80,000 Pennsylvania Railroad bricks that were salvaged from the former Pennsylvania Railroad Station in Reading a number of years ago. They were laid by our craftsmen and volunteers over the course of the few months just before the virus hit, and we're looking forward to starting this project again uh, when we can. We've traveled about six miles south of Boyertown to the railroad's maintenance and repair facility in Glasgow, Montgomery County. Behind me, you see some of our workers currently engaged in track repair. Our tie crane behind me uh, is loading the ties onto the tie cart for delivery out along the railroad line for the installation of about 500 or so ties uh, that we'll be doing over the course of the next month or so. The railroad's still hauling freight, and you'll see a little bit of the freight operation a little later on today. Uh, and in order to keep the railroad safe and passable for freight, this work needs to go on. We're now in a 1914 coach that was built by the Pullman Company. This car has been under restoration for about three years here at the Colebrook Dale, and uh, we are definitely nearing the end. The end is in sight. Recently, the metal walls were faux wood grain, as the car would have been uh, when it was built by Pullman. The electrical fixtures have been added, lighting fixtures have been added, electrical work has been done, uh, and currently we're working on uh, finishing some of the woodwork that goes in the car. Uh, this car will have uh, brass fixtures, plush seats, uh, and its own dedicated food service and air conditioning. So this will be a first class coach uh, when it finally does finish its metamorphosis. Even during this troubled time, railroads provide an essential link to the national transportation system. In the background, our crews are loading a tractor trailer filled with stone for delivery uh, to the southern part of the United States. The stone was brought in on railroad cars a number of weeks ago, uh, loaded into these bins, and now it's being transloaded into a tractor trailer for delivery. While most other operations have stopped here on the Colebrookdale, this essential service continues. We are proud to be part of the National Freight Network. We're here in Pottstown Steel River Station for a bit of a sneak peek to some of the improvements that have been made in the interior. You'll see that the lighting has been installed, including this fabulous 19th century chandelier hanging 40 feet uh, from the ceiling above. Uh, work continues on the Steel River Station throughout the course of the construction of the Whitaker Tower, which will be a 100 foot tall tower uh, just to the north of the current building and attached to it. Uh, that will be visible from Pennsylvania Route 100 and downtown Pottstown. We're currently working to raise funds to finish the interior of this building, so if you'd like to support that effort and put your name on a beautiful piece of what will become an important part of Pottstown's history, please feel free to contact us. It makes sense to conclude our check-in on the Colbrookdale Railroad here in our beautiful parlor car, the Storm King. This car is one of the few pieces of the Colbert Dale Railroad's infrastructure that is actually fully complete. Much of what you see is a work in progress and its future is yet unwritten. But during this time of uncertainty, it makes sense to come to a beautiful car like this. This car has seen two world wars, a Great Depression, and its own pandemic over 102 years ago. It's a reminder that there's always reason to hope and that hope is the most powerful tool that we've got. So in an overabundance of hope, we thank you for your support and look forward to seeing you soon.